Lab and today we're going to be talking about immersion mining. As you can see, I found this company, uh, they, pr they, they produce these uh, immersion tanks including everything. So this is just plug and play. So basically what this company does is they produce a few things. First of all, they do produce these uh, immersion uh, mining tanks for oil, you know, liquid liquid immersion, so cooling. And also they have their own, they develop their own uh, power supplies with a high output. Uh, for example, like let's say for the S19 or the S17, for overclocking purposes, the stock, the stock, let's say for the S7, the S19, uh, 100 terahash, the stock's power supply can go up to uh, 4,000, 4,000 and a half maximum. So you, you will run out of uh, voltage uh, around 130 terahash. But using their, you know, upgrade the the upgraded uh, power supply, so you can push the. You can push the, the, the you know the, the hash rate up to 160 170 tera hash for the s the s19 pro 110 tera hash uh, the other thing also they have is they have they have their own uh, control board so it comes uh, with the stock firmware where you can control the frequency as well as the voltage it's using the uh, stock firmware from bitmain so it's not a, in the aftermarket uh, firmware so it's just a custom firmware stock firmware so they produce everything you need to go immersion mining. So basically, I will show you in detail how the, this machine works exactly, and I will do another video, uh, you know, detailing everything, like all the aspects of the machine. Let me give you a quick look and give you a little bit of uh, introduction. So this particular immersion tank can hold up to six units. As you can see, we have one unit down there. This is an S19 J Pro 110 terahash. And as you can see, it comes with everything you need. So it's just plug and play. I'll just show you here. So how it works that this, this particular uh, machine is using uh, a heat exchanger. So we have a heat exchanger here. So you have the oil coming out from the tank go into the heat exchanger to exchange heat with water and then we have water running outside for cooling so the heat exchangers this is oil to water heat exchanger okay now let me show you how how much hash rate this one is pushing actually okay as you can see here we have uh, so the machine comes with the tank comes with a uh, uh, you know a lot of stuff here. So we have the power consumption currently here. We are at 5,800 watts. But keep in mind, this is not like stock. So this particular miner is running a aftermarket uh, control board. Let me show you how much hash rate this one is pushing. So we are at one one 165 tier hash stable. So if we take that. For this power consumption, that gives us around 34 watts per terahash. Here we have the temperature, the current temperature uh, for the oil, and here we have the set, the uh, the target temperature. So uh, the system will try to keep uh, the oil temperature below this 50 uh, degrees. Okay, so the way it works is so the oil comes from from the bottom of the of the tank. And then coming through the the hash boards, the heat sinks, and then the oil, the hot oil will uh, flow to the top and then go outside. And as you can see here, we have an oil pipe here draining the hot oil. We circulate that through the uh, heat exchanger and then push it back again to the tank. This is for four, you can fit up to six S9. 110 tera hash on this tank, but this company can make even larger uh, units. So depends on the customer uh, requirements. Let me show you the back. So here you have the PDU for your power supply uh, plugs, and they're all coming from here. So we have, you know, this is a large 
power wire that goes directly to the machine. So everything is packed within the machine, and you have the uh, you know the connection for the for the Ethernet as well. So everything is packed in one place, and it's just plug and play. So all you have to do is set up your power uh, supply, and then your piping, your water heat exchanger, and that's it. review on this uh, uh, immersion menu tank so if you if you guys want to hear more I'm gonna be doing another video very very soon uh, where I take you know uh, a, a stock s19 100 material hash it, it upgrade the power supply as well as the uh, control board and then show you how to immerse mine it and then I will show you how to go through the software and how to choose you know to choose between different profiles if you if you want to uh, you know hit maximum hash rate or you if you want to balance between hash rate as well as power consumption, uh, if you want to hear more about this, uh, if if you are interested, please uh, subscribe to the channel and I will be posting another video very soon. Till then, happy mining.